He annotated all of these songs uh, and did, did scrupulous research on the communities in which he was recording. You realize how sophisticated this music was. His mission was to convince the colonial environment of the time of the value of the heritage that was embodied in African music. It doesn't make any sense that music having been recorded in the 50s lying somewhere and the people of Kenya don't know that that music exists. I remember having this realization one day that now we know what we have, it's time to give it back. Everything I know is from what Hugh Tracy wrote down on his field cards that day. And what he said was that he heard the people singing the song and he recorded it with some Kipsigi men. Finally, they told him that it was really the girl's song that he managed to persuade them to sing for him. And the lyrics that they sang talked about how Chemi Rocha was coming, Chemi Rocha was coming to visit, and who was this Chemi Rocha, half man, half beast? That Chemi Rocha referred to Jimmy Rogers. British missionaries had come through some years earlier and played Jimmy Rogers records. The villagers ascribed various mythical powers to this creature which they called Chemi Rocha. <laughs> Tabo contacted me that we needed to go back to the village and try and uh, trace, so to speak, the singers of Chemirosha FM. Those days, 1950s, Kenya was still a, a colony, so people moved in the 60s of the independence. So we traced all the way to deep into the villages and try to get who these singers were. Yeah, so uh, we're now about to enter the family of one of the of, of one of the singers of Chemrosha one called uh, Chirol Letrap uh, Ngasura. Who you go come back and be to know? He get change it to put. So he's saying we we never understood what what the what the what the white man was doing, <laughs> but we were just singing for him and, and just having fun and singing for okay. the white man. We did not know that okay. we didn't record it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So his name was Hugh Tracy. So that man came here all the way from South Africa, and that was in 1950. He made 34, he recorded 34 songs that day oh. of Kipsigi music, and number four, Jimmy Rocha was by Sharanda Avrap Bakur, your grandfather, huh? yeah. with Kipsigi men. The day that he came here to Sotet was September 15th. September 15th, 1950. So you were probably about 24 years old. We're here today to, to play the music for you and then give you a copy of this CD to have for yourself, mm -hmm. right? I am so absolutely, totally thrilled and happy that Mr. Cheriot mm -hmm. is still with us so we can bring this recording of him with the with the Kipsigi's men. So this is for you. So I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Kenya Rift Valley. Rift Valley. Kipsigi. Kipsigi. Elizabeth, I want to give you this. In the 1950s, we got a record of South Africa.
says all those other old men who sang eight. together and have all passed on. Yes. And he sang with all of them, and some of them, yes, I didn't find some of them in, in, in the list. Well, this is just like... Yeah. Nini! It's like a dream come true to find someone who's still alive who played this music on that day. So we're actually coming into the Katsigi community, hoping to do the re-study that I've envisioned all along where we interview local people who remember the music. There's a lot of interest that Chemi Rocha's songs are interesting. He said that Chemi, Chemi Rocha or Jimmy Rogers is this mystical figure who people are saying is going to come here to visit us. There was one group of women who sang, mm -hmm. Hello, Chemi Rocha. Hello, Chemi Rocha. They say, In other words, this, this person, yeah, he looks like a human being. Half of him is a human being. But the other half looks like an animal, you know? He's an animal. <laughs> the reason is this. The white men, when they came, people, first of all, were wondering who these people were. Then the white men told them now to pray. So in praying, you know, the white men was uh, told them to to cover their eyes and pray. So they say, Apa, no, 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 there must be something these people are up. Why are they asking us to cover our eyes when we are praying? To compound the problem, is when the colonial government, they, they started building the hospitals. And what they used to do, if they find people, a group like this, they will just collect you, put you into a vehicle, rush you to the hospital, they remove blood, just to assist the people who were in the military. So they say, ah, these people, they, they, they are manitas. The, the idea was, when you, when you cover your eyes, one of you will be taken away to be slaughtered inside. As a result, they formed the idea that, yeah, this one is, is a human being, but half animal, because he eats people. white. White man. Uh, white man, Mzungu. Mzungu. So they had Jimmy Rogers. Mm. Then now, because of when they were playing also the music here, they used it as a, as a, as a way or mm. as a nickname for whatever they were doing. Mm. It's like Jimmy Rogers of the village now. Yeah. Yeah. Because now there's Jimmy Rogers over here, yeah. yeah. Oh, his name is Jimmy yeah. Roger. Yeah. Jimmy Roger. He's yeah. 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 So, that's, so she says, he was singing about happiness and they were saying, I was very happy until my clothes would fall off. Yeah, I'm so happy that my clothes would fall off. Yeah, so they were just singing for happiness. She says even in, in, the, in the lyrics, so there's a place where even a local delicacy here called Ugali, or food, you can be happy until it can fall over your hands. His <laughs> <laughs> yeah. excitement was so up there. I think Katicha is something new, precious. They would say, you dance until this thing falls off. Dance fully, com completely. There were also men on the other side. So they were saying, you also dance until your pants fall off. They could not see anything uh, to be shameful about that. Yeah. yeah. So that's what they were wishing for Jimmy Rogers, that he would dance until his pants fall off. Until, yeah, yeah, and then they will, they will get to know him more. <laughs>
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah so she says this song was very popular. People used to, to sing around here. And because they were being sung by old men and some like that, it resonated well. With the, and the kids would sing, everybody would sing, so it would, like, everybody would know about the song. But what she's saying is that nobody has ever heard about the recording, nobody has seen it uh, until now. She says she's very excited about the, the songs that we uh, have given them, and she says she's going to play overnight and try to reenact what was happening those days of 1950s. And she's very happy that finally she can have a hand in the original recordings of the. And then this one. Jeff Kesem is the one he also, the that's five, the five string one that I'm pretty sure that's the one he was talking about. Yes. What is that straight thing, Changina? Changina is a kind of stick, a pointed stick. How you you, 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 you just it? use it just get for, to hold yeah, just dancing. to hold like, you see what I'm doing? Can yeah. you do that? Mm-hmm, 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 something like that, yeah. Do, do, do. He says, do you have that song there? I want to play it, play it. Then I'm not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she says this is the one that she 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 likes a lot and, and after listening to it it's like I've seen him. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll go with the end of the day.